Today, I want to share with you my top deck to help you win the CWA e Rush Challenge, hopefully, on your first try. 4.0 Elixir Bowler Sparky Rocket Mirror Deck. It is 100% toxic, but honestly, it counters all of the popular cards being played in the challenge. And the Sparky is the perfect card to destroy all of those elite barbarians and stacked up pushes, which is why you also have the rocket to destroy your opponent's Sparkies as well. Now, one thing I will say is the NATO in this strategy is what I call a wild card and can be swapped out for anything that you want, depending on what kind of matchups you're facing. And if you're wondering what I mean, I'll explain more as we go through the video. So don't begin here, guys. The one and only Mr. Ghost with an extreme leap barbarian right lane. Fuck you over here, right lane. For the leap barbarian, we see an infernal dragon left side. The question is, does he have anything for our skeleton army? I'm gonna go skeleton army a bit delayed. Should be able to destroy both the hog rider as well as the. Oh, he he's zaps it down. But look at this, yoink. <laughs> <laughs> well, not only do we destroy the Inferno, we destroy the Hog Rider, and we had the Elite Barbarian spawning in, finishing off Izzy Barb left side of the arena. Meanwhile, peep that right tower. The Valkyrie Elite Barbarian combo absolutely decimated, destroyed it, and now we have ourselves a decent little damage lead. That Sparky going to do? Nope. Nah. <laughs> Oh, uh, I knew it wasn't going to shoot. That's okay. <laughs> it's not okay, but it's okay. Let's go pull over here at lane for the Elite Barbarian. We don't actually have the most efficient response for his Inferno Dragon, but that's okay because a rocket should be a viable counter. Ready? Oh, dude, come on. <laughs> yes. And then we uh, we missed to the Elite Barbarian. That's okay. He freezes down our E-Bars, but watch this. Once the E-Bars wake up, they should destroy and decimate that. Oh, let's mirror this right now. Uh, it's too late. That's okay. <laughs> it's not okay. Oh, we, we, we only missed one of them. That's, uh, that's that's better than none, right? That's better than none. So we go back over here right side. Get the NATO ready to go for the bowler. NATO went all in, so our bowler is able to splash onto his tower as well. Now remember, the NATO is a wild card. You don't have to have the NATO in there. You can replace it for multiple different options if you want to. Like Heal Spirit, like Zaspel, like extra air defense if you need it. So basically just multiple different solutions you can use if you need to. Let's go rocket over here right lane. To destroy the elite barbarians to keep ours alive. Oh no, where's your E-Wizard? Where's your E-Wizard? Ah, there it is. Hello, Mr. Electro Wizard. Welcome to the party, my friend. I'm gonna go bowl over here left lane with a mirror up bowler. And then we're gonna get the skeleton army ready to go for his pack. He's gonna freeze everything down, but the skeleton army goes in there, distracts the pack of the Hawk Rider, stuck between two rocks in a hard place, gets absolutely decimated. Meanwhile, the double bowler actually gets in there, destroys the Electro Wizard. The Inferno is a bit of a menace for us because we don't have too much, uh, we have zero. We have zero air defense. Besides rocket, what you say. but that's but that's okay. That's what I meant when I say that the the NATO is a wild card because if you face a ton of air decks, go ahead and swap the, the the NATO out. Replace it for a fly machine, a musketeer, or electro wizard, or electro dragon, something like that. Uh, electro dragon probably been my top recommendation if you want to throw in some extra reset ability in case players are using a lot of spark keys. Let's go bull over here left lane. Get the tomato sauce ready to go right here. Yoinkage, and then there's the free spell, but now he goes skeleton army. He goes zap spell for my skarmy here, but the hawk rider is dead. <laughs> Let's go. Dude, Mr. Ghost, 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 what you got for us now there, buddy? <laughs> uh, nothing. He's got nothing. But we do have ourselves a nice little one card victory. Good game, and bowler, 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 destroy the elite barbarian, my friend. Thank you. Thank you, bowler. I appreciate your assistance. Now, here is the question. Do I want to go in with the... Dun, 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 dun. No, I don't, actually. Let's go Sparky here right side. Look at that bowler value. Is that a strike or is that a split? I don't even know. But we get the bowler to that tower. And we're going to go. He's got the armor right here for the Golden Knight. <laughs> this distracts it. Let's go. Oh, dude. Let's go. Valkyrie here. We'll pull the Elite Barbarian over. Meanwhile, our Sparky's still alive. Nice little log there by him. Mr. Bruce Lee. <laughs> Yo, if I natal this all up in this business, are we good? Are we vibing or nah? I want to go a natal there, my friends, but let's just see. We destroy the musketeer. The Sparky is still out here slapping things down. Come on, Sparky, need to get in that tower, please. Shoot it, shoot it, shoot it. Ah, the delivery. All right, Valkyrie going down over here, right lane. Let's get a board as well for this uh, pack of elite barbarians coming in hot. And then we can go Sparky one more time. So as I mentioned before, I think before uh, we mentioned it. 
that you just want to play defense. You just want to go Sparky here left side, bowler right lane, just basically play defense, wait for double period uh, or triple period, whatever you get, and then just go in for more counter pressure. Basically, just defend, and then eventually you just stack things up and, and survive because all of your units are so long range, the Sparky and the bowler, that they just can't destroy them all. And even if they have rocket, you got mirror and you got more than one stuff. So overall, it's disgusting. Now when I go a. They ask you how you are. You just have to say that you're fine when you're not really. You know that misses the tower. Oh my goodness, bro! It's because the tower skin appears to be too large, my friends. Oh, it totally is. Look at that. Look at that. It's deceptive. It is deceptive, my friends. It makes you think it's not going to hit, but it does, or it doesn't hit. It makes you think it's going to hit, but it doesn't hit. You know what I'm saying? So the mirror spark is over here. I'm gonna go a bowler up high as well. We're absolutely slaying so far against Mr. Bruce Lee. That spark is still alive. Like, look at this. The arrows appears to be touching that tower, but it does not actually hit it. The tower skin is too big. Let's go a uh, Valkyrie Pie to block the Golden Knight. There we go, there we go, there we go. Same thing with the rocket. That is so deceptive, my friends. That should be fixed. Because look at this. Like, if, if you're playing and you're new to the game, you look at that and you go, that should hit. Like, you see that white circle with the rocket visibly in, like, over reaching the tower by half a tile. It doesn't actually hit it. That is weird, my friends. Oh, my. Yo, who brings hogs to a e barb fight? <laughs> Yo, this bark is just destroying this. Oh, I was going to go mirror uh, arrows up, but the, the one health e barb finished it off. Bruce Lee, good game. Well played, buddy. Oh, there's an elite barb buried already. Mr. Duratar. Sounds like a, like a, like an orc name. You know, like World of Warcraft. I'm gonna go in with a. Isn't that the starting zone in World of Warcraft? Anyways, let's go Valkyrie here, right lane, with a mirror on the Valkyrie for the left side of the arena. Level 16 Valkyrie versus some skeletons. And the skeletons do not win. Surprise, surprise. So we see our first giant skeleton over here, right side. I kind of want to go in with a skeleton army on the right lane. That that Valkyrie just laying this lap down, though, I. Right? Yo, we're gonna go a skeleton army here for this giant smelly. Then honestly, the level 16 Valkyrie just destroyed the left side. Rony Barb, get out of the bomb. Let's go Bowler here, right side. Destroys the Elite Barbarian plus the Barbarians. And then goes on the right lane. Finish off the Elite Barbarian. And then destroys the Electro Wizard as well. Yes, 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 yes. Let's go. One more little rock right there, please. And then one more. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, I have a feeling he might, in fact, have the rocket. We shall find out. Now, we're entering this. Oh, well, hello there, Mr. Balloon. See, this is what I mean. If you guys are facing a ton of balloons, you can actually swap the NATO up for something else. It's your it's your call. Let's go right here. Yoink that to my King Tower. Get the King Tower activated to help out a little bit later on. Then we got Sparkies going up on the left side. Yo, look at this NATO right here. Destroys the Skeletons. Let's go. <laughs> Let's, yes. And then we rock it the, the right side. Destroys the Elite Barbs. Did we miss it? Do we miss it? Do we miss it? We missed one of them. Oh, no. We missed one of them. That's okay, though, right? It's not okay. Let's go with Sparky right here. Oh, that Sparky should be ultimate value. It should destroy the, the giant skeleton and then go in left side to finish off the barbarians plus the e-barb. Let's go. Yes, sir. Thank you, Sparky. So my main strategy with this deck is honestly just play pure defense until you hit the triple elixir or whatever it is. Like once you get more elixir going in later in the battle, then you can just basically overwhelm and destroy. So just basically mirror up your bullers, mirror up your sparkies, both sides of the arena, destroy all their stuff, and eventually you just overwhelm and win. It is very, very brainless. No thought process required. We have E-Barbs going in, destroys the E-Barbs in that tower. That tower is gone. He's got no way of stopping that down. Then we go, Skeletal Army here left side, does absolutely nothing. But, uh, <laughs> this is this deck basically plays itself. Just drop your Sparkies down on defense, drop your Bullers down on defense, and mirror them up on both sides of the arena, and they can never break through. Even if they have Balloons, you have the Rocket for Balloon as an emergency just response. If you do face a lot of air cards, like things like Flying Machines, E-Dragons, Mega Minions, um... Minions and Minions obviously have the arrows for that. But if you face a lot of air cards, you can swap the NATO out for air defense. This 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 NATO can basically be whatever you want. You can use a Rage Ball in it if you want to. If you want to go more spicy, you can use a Heal Spirit if you want faster cycle and to heal your stuff up. Most of the time, I don't even use it. It just kind of sits there. It's very situational. I only ever really use it if I get ultimate value. But for the most part, it kind of just sits there and kind of just does not really get too much attention. But right now, good game. Duratar, well played. Good luck. Dun, 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 dun. Yo, Mr. Chaos Monkey. Let's go Sparky over here right side. Sparky, Sparky, Sparky should destroy the E-Barb. Ready? And three, two, one, pop. I don't know why he's just a bomber. Because he just gets one tap by the E-Barb there. All right. So, oh, no. 
I need my rockets. Oh, I need my oh, this is going to be a test of my deck, guys. This is going to be a test of my deck. We've got to go a rocket here on D. Actually, do I need to or do I just want to? So many life questions here. Garmy here destroys the Elite Barbarian. Meanwhile, the Golden Knight goes in there. The Flying Machine gets destroyed by my tower. The E-Dragon is somehow not within tower range. Can somebody explain this game to me right now? Because that E-Dragon is alive a million and a half years. We are low in Lux right now. This is a problem. We have one E-Dragon going in. Oh, we needed it out of our range. That's great. That's a good job, Shane. Thank you for that. I appreciate that, my friend. E-Dragon gets destroyed. Let's go, let's go, let's go. The question is, does he got Rocket? Does he got Rocket? That's the question. This is a good test for our deck. We go Sparky here again. I don't think he's got Rocket in there. He's got a lot of air cards though. Ready? Ready? Boom! Yes, sir! Boom! <laughs> there we go, there we go, there we go. Now we got two Sparkies alive. Finishing off literally everything. I really want to go in arrows here for the uh, bomber initially. And then where's your E-Dragon? Okay, we can go... Like the oh! Does that hit? Yoink! Come on! e get there, please! Boom, baby! We destroy basically everything. Spark is alive. e are going in. The fly machine is still alive right side, but that's because we don't have too much air responses. But that's okay. That's how we designed this deck. We only need one more rocket to finish off the tower right lane, which honestly should be very, very much doable here. Or the E-Barb goes in by itself and finishes the tower off. There we go, there we go, there we go. Let's mirror up that spark in the right side. Ignore the fly machine here left lane. This is basically a pure offense deck. It is 1,000% just offense orientated. Is that even a word? I don't think so, but I'm going to say it. Let's go rocket right here. <laughs> yes. We got some E-Barbs up in the action. Let's go Valkyrie up in this business. Should I destroy the archers and then the Valkyrie goes into that tower? Where's your E-Dragon, my friend? I know I want to go E-Dragon. Yo, the double sparkers go in there. Destroy the bomber. One more sparkers alive. Shoot, Sparky, shoot, my friend. E yes, let's go. So as you can see, even without the appropriate air responses, you can still make it happen. You get to play a lot more passively than you t traditionally would um, because otherwise they just stack up a million units. And then honestly, the answer is basically Rocket Nato. You just do it like this. Just go Rocket and then go Yo Linkage and destruction. <laughs> so, as I said before, if you face a ton of those decks, it might get a bit dicey, so you can replace the NATO with more air responses. Or just do what I did, play defensively, and wait for those cards to cross the river and let your towers engage with them. Valkyrie for the monitor. I accidentally went into a ladder battle. I accidentally went into a ladder battle. I figured, you know what? Let's just, uh, let's just see how it goes. Maybe it works. Maybe not. But whenever we see a monitor and a prince in the deck together, I'm always going to assume, oh, it's going to be a wall breaker. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> Skarmy here, please. I had a feeling he would go with a Zest Ball from a Sparky, and we can go with the Skeleton Army there. I don't particularly know. Don't have bats. Can I nail Skarmy here? Where is it? Did, did, did the nail get bigger because of the mirror? Skeleton Army here. <gasps> oh. His name is John C. The Sparky goes in there and lays the beat down on that tower, but now we have a Mega Knight coming in hot. Ooh, boys and girls, we could be in some trouble. Let's go Bullet right here, pulls the Mega Knight in. Both towers should engage, and the simultaneous power of the towers and the Buller should be a sufficient response for that Mega Knight. We have the Valkyrie right lane going in for the Miner. I'm going to keep my arrows for his wall breakers. He's going to go Prince here right lane. So I think the plan is to go in with the Sparky. <laughs> Arrows here left side. Yes, yes, yes. We know he's gonna zap arenas. Let's go, so I'm right here left lane. Where's your zap, my friend? Where is your zap? <laughs> you missed one of my skeletons, you nup. Let's go mirror up the skeleton armor right here. Not really the most ideal scenario. He's gonna go bats. Yeah. And then Moiner. Yeah. But there is good news where there is good news. We can just go Nato right here. I should have Nato earlier on. That's okay. We still got damage lead. So we're gonna go Sparky over here, last side of the arena. Get the arrow to go for a potential Walbreaker's right side. Get the Valkyrie up in the business for the Prince Arenos. Actually, let's go Skull Thermine instead. Skull is a better option because he wastes his ass spell on the Sparkinator. Yes, sir. And now we gotta go in. Ah, oh, see, this is where this sucks. I wish this wasn't an, an E Barb deck because we could actually go in with a. Ready? One of these and one of these. Ready? Yoinkage. Boom. Okay, that rocket sucked. <laughs> Sparky, one more shot. Sparky. Yes, sir. Ma'am. Thank you. Whatever you are, Sparky. I appreciate you right meow. Let's go bullet right here. Should knock back the wall breakers and destroy both of them. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And now we're going to go in with one more Sparky left side of the arena. 
We can go Valkyrie. We can actually go arrows for a wall. Oh, no. No. That's okay, right? That's not okay. We arrows that back. The spark goes in. Pulls. No. <laughs> I mean, the natal actually worked. The natal forced the Megan to not jump. Yo. Okay. Let's go Buller here left side. The Skarmory here for the uh, Prancy boy. Pulls it in, pulls it in, pulls it in. One more Skarmory right here, right lane for the... Oh, he's got the freaking... Oh, but we're good. We're good. <laughs> Let's go. Yo, if I win this, it'll be the... It'll be it'll be insane. Let's go Sparky here, right lane. We'll go Sparky right lane for a potential minor draw. I, 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 this is a longer battle, but this is not a real deck. It's not meant to be played in the ladder battles. It's meant for uh, non-ladder. <laughs> uh, I'm crying on the inside. I'm laughing on the outside. Let's go Valkyrie right here, my friends. He wasted arrows there. Boom. Valkyrie just... Oh, what? Yo. How did that happen? Okay. If I go with Bowler right here, and then mirror up the Bowler action here, like this. This is a vibe and a half, right? The Bowler tanks the bats, knocks back the Miner, destroys the Miner as well. We go Sparky over here. Honestly, we just go Sparky here like this. Yeah, that's the play, my friend. No worry. Two blocks of period. Arrow's here for these uh, wall breakers. And we go Valkyrie up front. NATO, some stuff up. Let's go Bowler here. Honestly, we could go um, Rocket Cycle Spam. Would not be too bad in the half. Let's go Miner right here. Let's go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Grab me here, right lane. Does the Aeros just grab me down? He does not in time. He doesn't even zap it either. Yo. Sure. You can't do that, my friend. Ready? Boom. That goes down. Let's go Valkyrie up high. Yes, sir. Bowler back here for the that. Arrows in the right lane. We should be fine here. Destroys the wall breakers. And now all we need is a me roar. Oh, he's going to go hyper aggressive. Don't do it. Sir, stop. Stop, my friend. Stop, my friend. Please. Sir. Not nice. There we go. We're fine. Okay. Rocket right here. We should be good, good, good to go. Arrows as well. Can we win? Yo. We actually do. Let's go. <laughs> we just won a ladder battle with this deck by accident. Let's go. <laughs> oh. So, Mr. Dark Knight. Wasn't that a movie? Wasn't Dark Knight a movie? Let's go. Let's go to here, left side. Should be able to finish off the Hogwarts quite nicely. And yes, Lux Ball does come down, but a bit delayed and allows our tower and Celta Army to combine their forces and finish off the Hogwarts. The Elite Barbarian looks into my tower, though. Gets one swing of Renos. And then we go a Buller right here, right lane with the arrows. Yo, who brings it, Princess? Oh, my goodness, dude. All right, all right. Actually, you know what? Good thing I didn't arrow that down, eh? I mean, I probably should have. We <laughs> uh, I missed the princess. <laughs> she stopped. Yo, she stopped. Oh my goodness, bro. She stopped. Why did she stop? She's just. Oh my goodness, man. Oh my goodness, bro. Let's go, Valkyrie over here, right lane. Finishes off the elite barbarian. We're still fine. We can still win this. I just. She. She, she just stopped. <laughs> she I don't know what she was doing, but I kind of want to go in with a no defense first Shane defense first get that pressure going on rocket launch initiated three two one no rocket okay let's not miss my arrows again okay <laughs> let's not do that again I'm gonna go bullet here left lane with the nader go for a golden barrel golden barrel three two one no he's got scrummy ready yoinkage and then we did destruction do we need one more yoinkage here or no He's got Goblin Gang and Skeleton Army, which means he's got some pretty re responsible, reliable um, swarm. But with the power of the mirror and also having the arrows and the mirror in there, it, you, can't, you can't handle it. You can't handle this heat. The Dark Knight. I kind of want to go rocket right here, but it might be a bit too delayed. It might be a bit too delayed. Now, y'all, look at this. It's just it, the deck plays itself. It is that easy. It is that brainless. Oh, no. See, this one doesn't do that. This one doesn't do that. All right, I'm going to go a uh, Sparky over here, right side of the arena. I don't even care that rocket was no value because we're, we're just steamrolling right now. Tommy goes in front. Come on, come on, come on, Skeleton Army, please. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And I want to go in with a Valkyrie as well. Yo, okay. GG's. This is GG's. Good game. I can close my eyes right now. I'm going to three crown. Let's, let's, let's do one more card here and then my eyes will be closed. <laughs> I'm smelling the three crown right now. I'm hearing some stuff. I'm hearing some stuff. I think it's three crowning. I'm listening. I hear it. I think that's two crowned. 
Yo, we did it. We won with our eyes closed. That is it, guys and girls. Good luck in your CWA Elite Barbarian Rush Challenge. Hopefully, you all unlock the emote on your very first try. And remember, don't be afraid to adapt your strategy if the meta is shifting into the challenge as they typically do. But that is the end. Thank you for watching. We shall see you all in the next one.